All right, it's 97.9 The Box, and Jay and the Pimp. Your boy JQ is in the building, man. And you know what? We got one of the emerging artists doing it big, man. Holding it down from the Bay Area. La Russell's in the building, man. Yeah. Oh, man, doing it big, baby. Welcome to H-Town, man. Come this, on. Is this your first time up in this town? No, no, no. This home. This home. This I'm home? Here a few times. Hey, yeah. that's what yeah. I'm talking about, man. Let's go back, man. What made you want to get into music, man? Let's talk about it. Life. Life. My, par- my parents playing music all my life, you feel me? It's natural, it's a natural inclination. I just always took a liking to it. Oh, yeah? yeah. So coming up, growing up, man, who were some of the people that you like like listening to when you were young? Everybody. Dre, Fody, Too Short, Pac, Hove, Nas, DMX. That's, that's Kanye, good, everybody. That, that's, that's a good you know, list was, right there. I was always receptive to music, you know, even outside of hip hop. Anything that hit me and, and, and feel good, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm taking it in. Man, I love it. Being out in the base, some of the artists that you uh, mentioned, like the Two Shorts, you know, the E4s, have you gotten the chance, you know, to meet them guys? Of course. Yeah, of yeah. course. Of oh, course. Yeah, so they they pioneers the, from the section. Young Come on. Yes. <laughs> Man, they give you any, what's, uh, did they give you any good advice, you know, being in this music industry? Because it could be a beast. Fody is full of advice, but really it ain't it ain't like advice through words, but through action. They laid blueprints for me to follow, you know. Yeah. So the best thing they did was they action, and I was able to peep the game and, and go do my own thing. Man, I love that right there. Russell in the building. Since being in this music industry, tell me something that you really like about it and then the, something that you really ain't feeling about it, but you got to deal with it. Um... I really enjoy doing what I love to do and meeting other niggas who do it the way yeah. I do it. Like, you know, we on the road with T-Pain. I used to be in the living room watching BT 106 and Park and T-Pain yeah. would come on. I never imagined that would be a possibility and just meeting him and seeing that he's as human as I am is, like, huge. So that's the beautiful part of it is, like, meeting the people that you've seen coming up that are like, man, never imagined this. Um the part I don't like is is the exact opposite of that. Meeting the people who are just like, ugh, I'd yeah. rather not. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's always the humans. You know, I had wrote I had wrote something the other day, and I was like, uh, the industry isn't evil; it's the people within it. You know, like mm. in the industry is made of people. There's no industry that operate without humans. So if an industry is evil, it ain't it ain't the industry. The industry guns don't shoot themselves. You know. Man, I'm loving that right there. The rustling in the building. Now you Brent mentioning T Pain. That's why they asked you. T Pain has has not been on tour in a minute. He's on a big tour right now. Definitely coming to H Town. Yeah. Um, and so, how did you get on the tour? How what was the discussion about? Because being on tour, T Pain, man, a legend like different, that. Different, different. Uh, man, we did a show together last year. He throws his own fest called Wisconsin Fest in uh, Milwaukee. And they reached out to book me, and we we pulled up, and we did our thing, and I got to meet him and the fam, and I just killed my set. And he was like, man, I got to have you on the road with me. And it was a really easy process. It was was, was an easy yes. (laughs) Man, I like that. That's going to be high energy right there. Yeah, you heard. Man, man, have y'all done any dates uh, so far? This is the first one. The first one. Today. It's the first one. It's the first one. We kicking it off. Man, it's going down, baby. Y'all better be in the building. Say what three music all, man. It's going to be a move. It's going to be a move. It's going to be a crazy show. You know, me and and Payne are like a similar human. So the energy is just out the roof. It's going to be a good time. And And we two two independent black men. You know, like that... If that ain't worthy of support, and I don't know what is. No, yeah. if, if somebody had never heard La Russell, how would you describe your style of music? Life rap. I think that's the best way to go about it. Life rap. Man, I definitely, I was checking out um, the other day uh, the video for King Kong, man. I like how your energy is, man. You like to have fun. It's Come like on. you like to have fun when you're on stage in your video. I like that. A lot of people like to stand there. Make hip hop yeah. fun again. Yes, yes. Make hip hop fun again. Woo. We tired of all that other, we ain't trying to hear about who you killed that look like you and what blocks you spin and well, who you sold to. We done with that. Done Make with hip-hop it. fun again. We need something that the grannies could love, the kids could love, the homies could love, some real life rap. We trying to hear experiences, real talk. Man, <laughs> how do you feel about the state of music like currently, like the music that's out right now? Because I know that your style is definitely, your style stands out. I noticed that about you. Um, you know how some people say that, Hip hop's not what it used to be, and all that. What's your take on it? 
I think the state of music is reflective of the state of culture. Mm. You know, like, mm-hmm. you know, the music always reflect where we are as a people and just what people is experiencing and going through, which is why you have such a melting pot. You got La Russell's and then you got, you know, you got a range, a plethora of artists. Like, I understand mainstream wise what's being pushed and why it's being pushed. It's like, you know, the people who the labels got the most favorable deals with and make the most money off is the ones they're going to put in the forefront. Yeah. You know, a lot of us who, who make that life rap, we're not accepting those kind of deals. So it's just yeah. harder for us to get that light. But I think the state is just reflective of the culture and where we at. Man. So if I, if I take a trip to you, to your city, man, San Francisco, man. What's I'm five? from Vallejo. The Vallejo, man. Yeah. That's right outside yeah. of that. I'm from Vallejo. How far is that from, from there? Like, like 45. 45 yep. minutes. Okay. Okay. So now let's go by uh, where in Vallejo. How do you say Vallejo? Yeah. Vallejo. Make sure I say it right. Come on. I come to your city. What's five places I need to hit up? Uh, you got to hit up my backyard, the pergola. Then you got to come over to my compound and see what we cooking over there. Then you got to go to Momo's Cafe. Ooh. You got to go to Ty's Grill. And you got to go to Sunshine Smoothies. Ooh, Sunshine Smoothies. We got that right there. Y'all know where to Girl. go now for this thing right there, man. <laughs> so what else is uh, coming up next for you? Everything. I know you got the project out already with Hit Boy and all that good stuff, man. What else is on the range? Man, a ton of life. You know, I... Uh, I got tons of music coming. We just did some joints with Warren G, some joints with Timberland. I got in with Bangladesh. I'm just, I'm, I'm working. I'm getting all my Infinity Stones and hip hop. Yeah. You want to go cook up with Bing? I'm just, I'm just out here working. It's a whole lot of life. You know, it's not any specific. I drop a ton of albums. You know, I'm not really like an album artist. I'm just an artist as a brand. So you know, I, I just suggest people follow and watch the movie and yeah. see how it's gonna go. Now, see, see, you mentioned that you definitely working. You know, with with the the homie uh, Tim and everything great yeah. producer and everything so I want to ask you dream a dream feature and dream producer that you would like to work with now I don't know if it's going to be Timbaland but I know Timbaland's a legend you already got him on the bike but is it somebody else producing wise and feature wise that you would love to have on a project that would complement how your dripitation is man? Mm. Dre and Kendrick Ooh. or Dre and Andre 3000 Ooh. I can hear that. I can I, hear that. I, I, that yeah, it compliments your stock. Hey, ooh. We done put it in. We done put it in the air. It's in the universe, it's man. It's in the universe, man. Do what you do. Man, LaRussell <laughs> in the building, man. Shout your social media for people can uh, tap in if they not already tapped in. At LaRussell on everything. L-A-R-U-S-S-E-L-L. Man, I love it. Real simply, straight through Come on, on everything, man. Come on. And check out the T-Pain show. He going to be putting it down up in that yeah. thing. He's going out with the G and the Pimp on 97.9 The Box, baby. Mm-hmm.